welcome. We are at the Santa Clara Convention Center kicking off the Silicon Valley Auto Show, the trends we're seeing for the future of the auto industry. Today, we are kicking off the first day of the Silicon Valley Auto Show, and it's all going down at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Lauren Toms has a look at the latest cars, trucks, EVs, and more. And right now, I am inside the Tesla Cybertruck, one of the most interesting cars here at the Silicon Valley Auto Show. Now, take a look inside. This is one of those super futuristic looking cars that maybe a few of you have seen on the roads already. This is Tesla's Cybertruck. A few of them are already on the roads, but electric vehicles this year are one of the hottest trends here at the auto, sh auto show. Earlier, we spoke with auto traders Brian Moody. Take a listen to what he had to say. One of the big trends is not only toward electric vehicles, but toward a wider selection of electric vehicles. And yet, at the same time, some people are realizing electric cars won't work for them. So we're also seeing a trend toward hybrids. Hybrids use a combination of electricity and gas to get excellent fuel economy, but those cars produce their own electricity. You don't have to plug them in. Now, Tesla is just one of many, many manufacturers you can come check out here at the auto show. We have Ford, we have Kia, we have Toyota, anything you can think of. And all of them have some form of electric vehicle this year. Come check out the auto show here at the Santa Clara Convention Center. They'll be here all weekend. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. So many things that I like and also so many colors. We were just talking about how some of the colors of these this year's cars are something we've just never seen before but right now i am on the main showroom floor we are surrounded by some of the latest models of your favorite car manufacturers we have honda we have vw we have toyota we have kia we have tesla we have lexus nissan you name it they have it here on the showroom floor but not only is this an auto show there's also a competition component and right now i'm joined by several members of the San Jose State University Spartan racing team, and they'll be competing in two different competitions. Patrick, can you tell me about the formula competition? Sure, so the formula competition uh, sees students build a half-size Formula One style car. And these cars are, the competition has a static and a dynamic component to it. The static component uh, takes the car and, or rather judges take the car and they look at it and they examine it scrupulously and they ask you a series of high-level engineering questions about your design and your choices. And the purpose of this is to like really grill you and like make sure you truly understand why you did something. And it's, a lot, it's very data-driven and it's very high-level. You can't just open up uh, SolidWorks and then make a model and put it on the car. You have to like have a real reason why you did it and they will grill you about it. And then there's the dynamic component. The, the dynamic component is where you actually drive the car. So there's the acceleration, which is exactly as it sounds, is how quickly can you accelerate. In our case, it's about uh, sub three seconds for 60 miles per hour. And then there's the skid pad, which is gonna be two left-hand circles, two right-hand circles, and is a race against the clock. And the idea is, is how many lateral Gs can you pull in the car? And that's gonna be all about your suspension setup. Then there's gonna be autocross. And it's about a, I think it's about a one mile track or so, whereas how quickly can you go through this track? And then there's endurance, and this is where the bulk of the points are. And the car is going to be on this track for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, it's the autocross track, but usually in reverse with a driver swap in the middle. And you can't shut your car off. And if anything breaks, you're disqualified. Awesome. And I, I have to ask, how fast can you go in these vehicles? So the cars themselves at our competition, so it, it's, it's the Michigan International Speedway. The competition, you'll maybe hit 70, 75. However, in our off-season events, we'll go down to what's called the SoCal Shootout, which we actually won this year, which was pretty cool. Uh, with the track has a really, really long back straight, and with the gearing we chose, I think we hit 90 some odd miles per hour, so the, at least according to the data. That is so impressive, and I understand you guys are also going to be competing in the Baja competition. We'll hear about that in a little bit, but for now, these doors open at 10 a.m. this morning. If you're in the area, or even if you're a little bit far out, come take your own vehicle. Come see if maybe you want to swap it out because these cars are so impressive. And a little bit later, we'll be taking a look at one of uh, the, the special guests of this auto show, the Tesla Cybertruck. So stay tuned. We'll have more on that later. The whole point of this competition is, is trying to foster the next generation of automotive engineers in such a way where you put them in a simulated industry environment. And the best way to simulate an industry environment is to build a race car.